Welcome to practice. We're going to begin uh, seated and you can make that kneeling or with your feet out in front, some way that your legs are comfortable. And bring the arms out from the shoulders. I have a big stretch. Ah. Whatever feels good. Mm. And then we're going to rotate one shoulder forward and one shoulder back. You can see one palm one way, the other palm the other way. And then alternate that. So one shoulder forward, let the arm follow. And then the other shoulder. And as you do that, oh, really reach from the heart to the fingers. Start to move that movement, bringing the arms closer to the ears, and try to keep your arms in line with your torso. Ah, notice your breath starting to get deeper. That enjoyment of being in your body, and then let your hands and your fingers move. Like you're an elegant dancer. Feel him stretching. Oh, good. And start to move that movement of the arms back to shoulder height. Really working your shoulders. Good. And then release. Oh. Nice work. Start to wave your spine forward and back. Find your breath. The satisfying feeling of the breath. The satisfying feeling of these little movements in the body. Nice work. Now you're going to uh, lay down on your side. So just whichever way so you can see your device. I'm going to be on my left side. Hold your knees, or bend your knees, <laughs> the feet are back behind you, but see if you can get your knees, your hips and your shoulders in one line. We're going to put the elbow in that same line. Good. And just lay your head down on your arm. So stretch your arm out straight. Great. Lift up your left leg and we're going to make some nice big circles with the left knee. Slow it down and try to really reach into your whole range of movement there. Without straining, pulling elsewhere in the body, so keep your neck relaxed in your own other direction. My arm's laying straight on the floor, my head on my arm. Keep that nice and relaxed. Mm. Good. Um, while we're here, let's bend the left leg and you might be able to reach your left foot with your left hand. Maybe not. Maybe you're going to hold your knee. <laughs> Excuse me, or your leggings. And see how you go starting to straighten that leg. So I've bent my arm and I've rested my head into my hand here. We're also holding as balanced as we can. So there's a work here in the core of the key. Mm, nice deep breath. Good. And then release and relax. And you can just roll over so you do the other side, or if you want to be able to see your device, swap your body to the other end of the mat. 
All right. So we're going to start off trying to make that straight line, knees, hips, shoulders, elbow. But we're going to lay the arm out along the floor and rest your head. Good. And then we'll start to make big circles with the right knee. So right hands on the floor for balance. Try to find your stretch here, your limit of movement, especially when you take the knee behind you. Almost as if you could really feel the function and the shape of the hip joint. Good, and then the other direction. Hmm. Good. Okay, and then you're going to bend in that right leg. I'm lifting up, so bending your left elbow now so you can rest your head on your hand. Bending in your right leg, and you might be able to take hold of something. Knee, leggings, foot, and see if you can bring that leg towards straight. Feeling all those little wobbles to keep you from falling over. <laughs> Core awareness. Mm. Nice work. And then release that side. Great. Come up now and we'll come into forward Virasana. Mm. Lower back lengthening. Chest broader. Feel the uh, shape of the lungs and the ribs as you breathe deeply. And then we're going to come up into all fours. Take the right leg up behind you now we've got the knee bent and we'll reach the foot up towards the ceiling and then we're going to make those circles again with the leg so when you take the leg behind you really reach it up to the ceiling you're trying to find your full range of movement and even when you reach your right foot over to the left side take it as far as you can it's a nice big circle Try to truly reach. You can even lift your right hip so you get as much movement as possible. Good, and go in the other direction. But still really reach the right foot to the left in that part of the circle. All the way out to the side. One more. Good, nice work. All right, lift the left foot up behind. Really lift nice and high. And then we're going to make those circles. So take the left foot to the right as far as you can. And even lift your left hip to follow. And then up to the side. A couple more of those. Feel the breath. Be satisfied. Feel the flow and life force of that breath. Do you energetically follow your movement and then the other direction for your leg to travel? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice work. And then we're going to take downward facing dog pose. And you come back to center, tuck your toes under. We're going to start to rock gently the shoulders forward and back or the hips forward and back. Let's see if you can find a little bit more stretch as you take the hips back each time. Might start to straighten your legs, or you might have them bend. Mm. 
Feeling the flow of each breath. Good. And then we're going to take little steps to walk forward. And we'll try to keep an ease in the spine. So if you have trouble with that, getting the feet forward, work with little steps towards the back of the mat. Come up when you're ready. Maybe walk your feet forward and we'll roll all the way. Mm. Good. We're going to turn sideways onto the mat so you can see your, your device. Your feet wider than your leg is long and your toes turn in the start. We're going to roll just the torso forward and back up. So bend your knees, rolling down with the exhalation. And rolling up with the inhalation. When you get to the top of that movement, lift your shoulders and then slide them down behind you. Make a little back bend. Good. And again, rolling. Mm. Lifting up. Lifting the shoulders up to the ears and sliding the shoulder blades down. Look up. Good. One more. One more. And rolling up. Ooh. Let's add the arms in now to take them up by your ear. And we'll roll forward. Ooh. And roll up. And again. Rolling forward. And rolling. Mm, nice work. Hands in front of your heart. Bend your knees. Turn your toes out. We're going to drop the hips that lift the pelvic floor. And this time straightening one leg. Bending the other. So really feeling that internal muscular support. If you want to go deeper in this posture, you can put your hands down onto the floor and even try to get your sit bone towards your opposite heel. You can walk your hands from side to side if you want that bigger movement. But you don't have to. So work in the space um, where you can that sense of ease in your body. Good, and then back to centre. Lift up, lift the arms up, but keep the hips down. And then rolling forward. Keep the hips down as you lift up, press into your heels, lift the pelvic floor. Good. And again. And one more. Good. And then straighten your legs. Oh. Mm. Nice work. We're going to step to the front of the mat. Hadasana. Feeling the flow of life. Inhale, arms up. Udvahasasana. Uttanasana. Good. Left foot back. We're going to um, plant the back heel so don't have the foot back so far that you can't get the heel on the floor. From side to side, feet are about hip width parallel. And we're starting to try to stretch the front leg. But to ease the spine a little more, really bend the front leg first and look forward. Lift up onto your fingertips or 
and, and you might need to have a, a seat of a chair instead of your hands on the floor. Mm. Good. Now we've got the spine feeling easy here. The skin is relaxed. We're tuned into the flow of breath. We're going to start to try and straighten that front leg. The more you can reach the hips forward, try to keep a connection of the ribs to the thigh, the bigger that stretch will feel. But we don't want to lose the ease of the back. So balancing the desire to stretch with the awareness of your spine. Good, and then we're going to step forward, lift up, and balance on the right leg. Which is hard to do because you just stretched it, <laughs> so it's a bit wobbly. Ah, finding your balance. A powerful arm core of the body, feet down, tadasana. Inhale, Urdhvasasana, Uttanasana, hands to the floor or the seat of the chair. Mm. Nice, let's take the right foot back. Okay, so you want your heel, your right heel on the floor. Feet hip width parallel, but starting to stretch from front to back. Now, if we try to just straighten the front leg, notice how that brings a tautness, a tension into the spine. So bend the front leg. See if you can find that easeful feeling in your back where the skin is more relaxed. Enjoying the satisfying flow of breath, of movement in your body. All right, let's try to balance uh, keeping, I shouldn't say that word like that as a verb. <laughs> We're going to try and straighten the front leg, but not bring tension into the back. So imagining being able to hold both of those actions with ease, with a calm approach, the intense stretch of the leg at the ease of the spine, enjoying the flow of your breath. Good. Now we're going to step forward, lift up, and balance on the left foot. Right foot comes in front. Whatever your balance hold feels like this morning. Good. And release. So you might be watching this in the evening. <laughs> Inhale, arms up. And as you exhale, Uttanasana. Really find that easeful spine. So lift right up onto your fingertips. Look forward. This time we're going to step the left foot back much further. So we're in a long lunge. Bend the hips forward. Bend the forward and look up. And press back through the back heel. Oh. Good. Now gently take the left knee to the floor and lift the torso up, arms up by the ear, looking up. You would bring the hands together in front of your heart, straighten your back leg. We're going to step forward and lift up and balance on the right foot. You might have your left toes on the floor in front, or you might be holding your knee. Mm, lengthen the spine, finding your balance. Ah, enjoying the breath. Feet under the hips. Tadasana. Inhale, arms up. And as you exhale, Uttanasana. Find that easeful spine. Bones of the spine embedding into the front of your torso, the skin relaxed. 
the upper left fingertip with your core. Good. Big step back with the right foot so the heel won't be on the floor. Bend the front leg and drop the hips forward. Look up, look forward. Draw the shoulder blades back. Try to feel that nice big stretch in the front of your right hip. Ah. Good. Bring the knee gently to the floor. And we're going to lift the uh, arms up by the ears. Ooh. I've kept my toes tucked under. I could put top of the foot on the floor if you found that was easier. And that's what you need. Shoulder blades down, looking up, open the chest, hips forward. Beautiful. Hands back to the floor. Straighten your back leg. And we're going to step forward and lift up and balance on the left leg. Mm. Good. And then we're releasing that side to Hadasana. Inhale, arms up. As you exhale, Uttanasana. Oh, up onto your fingertips, look forward. Feel the ease of your spine. Now this time we're going to step the left foot back to line up the centre of the inner arch of the left foot with the right heel. And you need quite a big distance between your feet, further than your leg is long. Bend your right knee. We're going to lift our torso and put the right elbow you have trouble reaching, put your hand on your right knee. Left elbow is going to, ah, sorry, not elbow, left hip is going to roll back. We're going to open the heart towards the ceiling. Nice. Take your left arm straight out from your shoulder and turn the palm or the thumb down, reach the palm back, rotate the shoulder forward, and we're going to reach that arm, left arm, behind your torso as though you could bring your fingertips out somewhere near your right hip. Might be able to hold on to your clothing or your hip there. Bend a little deeper into the hip. Lift the heart to look up. Feel the spine length. Try not to group your toes. Feel that they're long and straight. Lift the pelvic floor, the lower front abdomen. Mm. Nice work. And then we're going to reach that left arm, release it from the bind uh, over the top of your left ear and really reach and lengthen that side of the body. Good. Take that left hand down onto the floor now near your right foot and your right hand down. Turn to face forward again. So you can step forward. And lift up and balance. We try to do that in one smooth movement, <laughs> but as best we can. You might have your tiptoes at the floor. You might be holding your knee or your foot. I want you to try and take your left knee out to the left side. Maybe you reach your right arm out to help you. Good, and back to centre and releasing that side. Feet underneath you. Mm. Feeling the flow of breath. Inhale, arms up. As you exhale, Uttanasana. Enjoying being able to find your healthy spine. Good, now we're going to do the big step back with the right foot where you line up the center of the right foot in an arch with the left heel. Nice big distance and we'll bend the left knee. Good, we're gonna put the left elbow onto the knee. If you have trouble reaching there, you can put your hand there. Good, and your right hand on your hip and we're gonna roll the right hip back, the right wrist back. Good, you can sink your hips a little lower to the floor but feel that internal muscular support, the lift of the pelvic floor. 
the pressing of the belly to the spine. We'll take the right arm out from the shoulder, turn the thumb down, the palm back, keep rotating that shoulder forward, and then reach the right arm behind you as far as you can reach. And you end up with your fingers somewhere over near your left foot, taking hold there, pressing your hand to your back so that we can roll the right shoulder back, open the rib towards the ceiling, the sky. Good morning. Mm. Enjoying the flow of breath. No gripping with the toes. <laughs> See if you can straighten them out. Ah, enjoying that good foot connection. Okay, we're going to have the right arm now by the right ear. Take the right ribs back. Open the heart. And breathing. And then we're going to reach the right arm down onto the floor. So we're facing forward again. And your back foot forward. So you can step forward, lift up, and balance. Ooh. Take your balance hold. That might be right tiptoes on the floor. Maybe you're holding your knee or your foot. And we're going to take the right knee out to the right side. Try, you can try putting your left arm out from your shoulder. It's a little counterweight. Oh, good. And then release. <laughs> Tadasana. We're going to take a few breaths here. Feeling both feet on the floor with. Find a powerful lift in the front of the legs, the belly, the breastbone, the top of the head. And then easing down of the shoulders, the shoulder blades, the tailbone. Good. I'm going to part the feet out wide. So heels out about as wide as the edge of the mat and toes turned out. We're going to practice our squatting movement. So you might have your arms all the way out in front. Bring your here, hips as close to the floor as you can go, but keep your heels on the floor. So don't go further than your heels lifting up. And we're lifting up a little bit from there and holding. Really lift the pelvic floor. Good. And then we're going to press into the heels, really press into the heels. And then lift up. Nice work. Let's do it again. Um, so we lower the hip towards the floor as far as I'll go, but keep the heels on the floor. Don't go further than that. Really lifting the pelvic floor, the lower front abdomen. Ooh, and then truly, truly press into your heels. Lift up a little bit. Holding. And then truly, truly pressing into your heels. And lifting up. Mm. <laughs> Hard work. Which is good. All right. As you sit down, whatever way you might be using your squatting, to sit, but as you sit, any of the little moves you make, maybe you need to use your hands to get on the floor safely. <laughs> Thinking about the movements that feel easy, the movements that feel difficult, appreciating them all. Mm. Sitting up onto a blanket now. Good. We're going to bring the legs out in front and then flip both of your feet over to your right side. So I'll look opposite to you. And then 
we want the feet to be stacked comfortably beside your hip, kind of neatly. And classically, you would put your right foot underneath your left. But <laughs> seems to me 50% of people need to do it the other way. So do what works for your knees. And then we're going to take a hold of the left leg with the right hand. Soft fingers of the left hand on the floor to support. Lengthen your spine and turning. And delve straight into finding your breath. Let your breath be the guide for this posture. Let the breath be the guide for your movement. What can you discover? And then release and come back to center. Ooh. And then we're going to swap the legs over to the other side. So we want the feet as neatly as we can at the left hip. And classically, you'd put your left foot underneath. So we'll be turning to the right. Use your right hand softly to help support. Left hand onto your right leg. Parad Vajasana. Oh, lifting, lengthening the spine. Turning the ribs. In finding the breath, letting the breath inform the movement. What can you find? Where can you go? And then back to centre. Nicely done. Legs back in front. Hold on to your knees and lean back a little. And find some little spinal wave movement. Notice how you've got a lot of Access here to finding the best shape for your spine to hold it in position. So really find a comfortable shape. Use your tummy muscle powerfully to support and then see how you go letting go of your hands. Now the further you lean back, the more the other core muscles are going to have to work to support that easy spine. So check it out, see if you can Lean back a little. Don't go so far that it starts to feel too strong in your back. Come back to a position you can hold. But really try to use your core powerfully. Not so much around your heart <laughs> or your chest or your throat. Your face. Mm. Some people might be having feet off the floor as well. Ah, <laughs> it feels really nice to just to hold the front of your legs somewhere and lengthen your spine. Mm. Right, and then we're going to lay down. Mm. 
press your lower back into the floor. Feet are hip width and parallel, legs parallel. Ah, take your arms overhead. Let them lie on the floor of the bed. Rock your head gently from side to side, lengthening your neck. And press your lower back into the floor. And then we're going to do the opposite and arch your lower back away from the floor. Mm, feel how when you breathe deeply, you can really fill the belly. Mm. And press your lower back. Breathing deeply. Good. And then releasing your arms out by your shoulders, inside edges of your feet together, knees together. Lift your hips, swing them right and knees go left. And just be passive to start with. Feel the shape of the posture, of the movement in your body, whether there might be some difficulty or some ease. You can always put a blanket under your knees if it feels too strong. In the last part of the timing, really engage your core awareness and lift your feet and your knees just off the floor. Try and make it the core of the body, not the chest or the face or the throat. Mm. And using that core awareness, bring the legs up with ease to the spine. Good. And then we swap sides. So lift the hips, swing them over to the left. And knees go right. And at first, just rest with your legs. Just enjoying the shape of the So sometimes if we're recovering from a, a muscle pull in the back or something like that, this posture can feel really strong. And so taking some padding make it more easeful. Mm, okay, and now really engaging your core awareness so that you can lift your feet and your knees just off the floor. You're feeling powerful core but relaxed upper body. Good, and using that powerful core to bring the legs back up to center. Ah. Hug your knees into your chest. And we're going to rock the pelvis side to side. Notice how you can glean more length for your spine doing this. Mm. And then happy baby pose. Hold your arms on the inside of your legs and holding your ankles or your feet and bringing your knee closer to the floor and your toe closer to the floor overhead or the wall behind. Keep the neck long, the shoulders relaxed. Ah. It feel really nice to try and straighten one leg. And then bend that one and straighten. And then bending and releasing. Hug your knees in again. Something from side to side. If you can stay in your own shavasana, please do. Namaste to you. If like me, you need to finish your practice. We're going to roll over to the right side and come up to sitting.
finding your breath, feeling that energetic expression of the breath in your body. Take the feeling of the practice. Namaste.